Steam burns versus water burns. What is the amount of heat input to your skin when it receives the heat released by 25 grams of steam initially at 100 degrees Celsius when it is cooled to skin temperature 34 degrees Celsius? By 25 grams of water initially at 100 degrees Celsius when it is cooled to 34 degrees Celsius. What does this tell you about the relative severity of burns from steam versus burns from water? Okay, so we're talking about 25 grams of steam. Mass of steam is 25.0 grams. Uh, the change in the steam mass when it goes through uh, condensation to liquid phase is minus 0 0.025 kilograms. All of the steam will become uh, water. Latent heat of vaporization is 2256 times 10 to 3 joules per kilograms. Uh, how do I know? I can look it up from this table. For water, the latent heat of vaporization is 2256 10 to 3 joules per kilograms. Okay. Uh, the specific heat of water is uh, 4,190 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Uh, that's again uh, in this tables here. You can see specific heat of wa liquid water joules per kilogram Kelvin unit 4,190. And the change in temperature, delta T in the process, final temperature is 34 degrees Celsius, initial temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, so that will make minus 66 degrees Celsius. The change in temperature in the Kelvin scale is the change in temperature in Celsius scale, so that's also minus 66 Kelvin because delta TK is equal to delta TC. All right, uh, now if we uh, calculate the total heat uh, that is lost by the steam or it's, it's the uh, heat that is basically uh, input to our skin, uh, our skin is latent heat of vaporization LV times delta MS because all of the steam turns into uh, water this will be equal to MS minus MS plus mass of the resulting water specific heat of water times delta T now 2256 times 10 to 3 joules per uh, kilogram uh, is our heat of vaporization then we have minus 0 0.025 kilograms the change in the mass of steam and then we have plus 0 0.025 kilograms of water specific heat of water 4190 joules per kilograms Kelvin multiplied with minus 66 Kelvin. So this will give us in total minus uh, 56,400 joules minus 6,913 joules and therefore the heat that we calculate is minus 63,313 uh, 0.5 joules. Now we're going to give our answer. Uh, we can see that we have minimum number of significant figures, three here. So with three significant figures, this will be minus 6.33 times 10 to 4 joules. Or we can state it in calories. Q is equal to minus 1.51 times 10 to 4 calories. What is the meaning of the minus sign? 
This is heat released by the steam to our skin. So basically it's not heat absorbed since uh, we have calculated heat absorbed by the steam that is going to be negative because heat is released by the steam to our skin. So let's talk about part B. Now in part B, in the second case, Q2, we have mass of water, specific heat of water, delta T. We have 25 grams of water, 0.025 kilograms, 4,190 joules per kilogram Kelvin, specific heat, minus 66 Kelvin is the temperature change. So this will give us Q2 equals minus 6,913.5 joules. Uh, so we can state the result here. Q2 in the second case is minus 6.91 times 10 to 3 joules or we can state it in calories. Q2 equals minus 1.65 times 10 to 3 calories. So this is the amount of heat that your skin will absorb from uh, boiling water at 100 degrees C. Uh, this is the amount of heat released by the water to our skin. So uh, basically the amount of heat input to our uh, skin is going to be plus 6.33 10 to 4 joules in the first case and it will be plus 6.91 10 to 3 joules in the second case. So this is heat released by water. So what does this tell us about the severity of the burn? So if you compare these two numbers, 6.91 10 to 3, 6.33 10 to 4, there is an order of magnitude difference. The steam burn is a lot more severe since the heat released by the steam is almost an order of magnitude higher. One is 10 to 3, the other one is in 10 to 4 scale. Okay, so to summarize, uh, we're talking about steam burns versus water burns. We're considering steam, 25 grams steam at 100 C and 25 grams water at 100 C. We're comparing the two. And uh, when we have our skin exposed to uh, the boiling water or the steam, it, it must be cooled to 34 degrees Celsius, the skin temperature. So that amount of uh, heat will be released to our uh, skin. So we will compare these two, the heat released by the steam and water to conclude which one gives a more severe burn. So in the case of steam, uh, the heat that is released by the steam is equal to latent heat of vaporization uh, times delta ms plus mass of the resulting mass of the water, specific heat of water delta T, whereas in the uh, boiling water case, we have mass of water, specific heat of water, delta T. So the second contribution is the same, but the first contribution, the latent heat of vaporization, 2256 times 10 to 3 times minus 0 0.025 kilograms, minus 56,400 joules is the dominant factor here. So you can see this contribution 6,913, this contribution is 56,400 joules. So uh, the final answer we have for the steam burn is minus 6.33 10 to 4 joules of heat released by the steam. So uh, Q absorbed, Q absorbed will be plus 6.33 times uh, 10 to 4 joules by our skin. On the other hand, for water, 
uh, this Q absorbed will be uh, by in the second case so let's call this the first case absorbed by the skin will be plus 6.91 10 to 3 joules to cool it down to uh, skin temperature 34 degrees uh, Celsius since the uh, amount of heat absorbed in the case of uh, steam is an order of magnitude higher a steam burn is a much more severe burn than uh, the burn due to hot water that's the conclusion we have uh, in this problem